Okay then, so what do we mean by a parametric curve? Well, first of all, suppose we have x in terms of some other variable. x is some function of t. And similarly, suppose we've got y as another function of t. Then this is called a parametric equation. Look, I'll give you an example. Suppose we have x equals t minus 1. We've got some function of t here for x. And we'll have y as another function of t, say t squared minus 3. It doesn't have to be t, it can be other letters. When you've got trigonometric parametric equations, then this will be most probably some trig function, and the same applies to y. But we'll just take a simple case here. Now, we could plot this curve. We could plot it by just setting up a table, giving values of t, and working out the corresponding values of x and y. So, if we were doing a table like this, what we would need to do is start with, say, a central value of t. Say t equals 0. Now, when t is 0, the corresponding x value is going to be 0 minus 1, or minus 1. And for y, we've got 0 squared minus 3, which is going to be minus 3. And we could plot that point, the point where x is minus 1, and y is minus 3. So if x is minus 1, y is minus 3, we've got a point here. And then what we do is we take, say, positive values of t. So when t is 1, we've got 1 take away 1, which is 0, and 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. So you've got a point at 0, minus 2, point here. We can take negative values as well. Let's take minus 1. What have we got now? Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. And minus 1 squared is 1 minus 3. So you've got another minus 2. So a point at minus 2, minus 2. I'll leave you to just work out what we get for 2 and 3 and also for minus 2 and say minus 3. So you should find that we get the following. And if you plot the points on the graph you get this. Now the points at 2, 6 and minus 4, 6 are just off the grid here. But if you join these points up with a smooth curve, you get this parabola. So hopefully you can see then that you can build up your table of values, plot your points, and get your curve, your parametric curve. Now it is possible to work out what the Cartesian equation is, that is an equation independent of t. And to do that, what we do is we take one of the equations, the easier one, which would be in this example, x equals t minus 1, and we could say that since x equals t minus 1, we make t the subject. And so therefore, t would equal x plus 1, if we were to add 1 to both sides. And we now substitute this value of t in terms of x into the equation for y. So therefore, what we have is that y equals t squared, which will be x plus 1, all squared, and then minus the 3. So we have an equation independent of t, the Cartesian equation, as we say. You might want to expand this and tidy it up. And if you did, you've got x squared, and then you've got 1x and another x, that's 2x, and then 1 squared, which is 1, take away the 3, is minus 2. So we have 
the Cartesian equation and the parametric equation. Now in later tutorials what I'm going to show you is how we can sketch fairly simple parametric curves without having to resort to a table. We'll also be looking at how we can change parametric equations into Cartesian equations, finding tangents and normals to a parametric curve and also stationary points like in this example at the bottom here. So I hope you'll have a look at those tutorials but for now that brings us to the end of this particular one.